know you wanna be the star In the heart of Wellington's busy new town is Toy Fakari, New Zealand Drama School. Many of the country's top actors have trained here. Competition to get in is fierce. 200 people audition for the drama school from around the country. You have to be tough. 48 people are invited to the recall weekend. I want to be here. You just want to be a part of it. And of those 48 or so people, we're going to take 22. So the stakes are high and they have to fight for their place. I didn't come here thinking that it would be really easy or anything, but... No, that definitely did not go well at all. Every year, staff from Toy Fakari travel the country looking for exciting new talent. It all starts with the ambition of the young hopefuls who harbour a dream. I was nervous posting. At the first stage of the auditions, the nerves are already beginning to show. It's true. High and low. No, I shouldn't have drunk completely. Oh, I've gone blank, sorry. Excitement, terror, expectation. That kind of churning, sick feeling that your dreams are just there in front of you. If you just can reach out your hand at the right way at the right time, then you'll have what, what it is that you've been dreaming on. It's like discovering your sexuality. <laughs> what I'm trying to get you to do is to come out, come out of your... Um, Holly's been working in her father's garage in small town Hawara, but she's always wondered if she could make it big as an actress. I'm an auto It's hard work, you know, it's quite physical, it's hands dirty, so don't look at the fingernails. I do clean them, but just the grease is hard to get out. I'm 25 now, and I didn't want to get to sort of 45 and be married with kids and have a lot of responsibilities and think if I'd only posted that application. On the flip side though, had I come when I was 20, I'd have been into the Wellington nightlife like a Robert's dog and, you know, drinking too much and partying on so... So whether you get into the school or not, you're going to move down to Wellington and... Yes, but if I do not get in, it will break my heart. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I adore her. Isn't I completely great? love her. I'm looking for watchability. I'm looking for somebody who seizes my attention and makes me hungry to know what's going on in their heart and their mind. Kia ora, my name is Maria Rose, the one and only. Um, this is my entrance way to my flat number 203. This is my lounge slash room slash changing room slash I believe that I've been acting ever since I was a little girl. You know, going to school, pretending that at home was normal. If I hit someone, I expect to be hit back. I think it's the same for anyone. You know how you get when you've both been drinking. Really, you know, having to deal with the violence and alcohol, drugs and all that sort of stuff. I was brought up in a pretty um, unfunctional family. Lovely, there's a beautiful account of that story. Can we just try one little thing? Just let it be hilarious and, and funny, like you've had a couple of vodkas in the pub. Oh, yeah? Okay. If I hit someone, I expect to be hit. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> I think it's the same for anyone. You know how you get when you've both been drinking. <laughs> Drugs and alcohol got me into a lot of trouble, so Are I've really um, given up. <laughs> it's sort of like creating a new life for myself. The joy in the life. And that, and she did it with the ease that she Annie had. Ruth and Miranda Harcourt decide who makes it through the national auditions. Their job is to find the potential stars of tomorrow. I think you don't quite know well enough. Let's just find something you do know about. Well. Is it a winter song? Or? Song. Come, this is but a Our finest function. Our gifts, our finest gifts, we bring but a bum bum. Too late before the king, but a bum bum. Rub a bum bum, rub a bum bum. Okay.
almost I feel like I've done myself justice. Like, Not everyone gets in first time. Um, and, okay, moving on, sorry. No. Um, I, I just, I'd hate to think that that... that this is Ryan's second is go. Oh, no, just, He's been working oh, no. in a gas station, but he won't let go of his dream of um, being an actor. Like, is it not feasible to give me another piece of direction or something and see how I work with it? Or this morning and last night, I was just like pulling off the stuff that I was just like, yes, I'm gonna go in there and, and you know, teach her blind them away. It just didn't happen. It just didn't. It just wasn't nowhere near as good as it was at home. This is also Ahi's second attempt. He's been singing in a Bollywood band and longs to make it on the silver screen. Thing. It's given me that drive, you know, this is what I want, and it's like almost you can taste it, but you can't quite get to it. I feel like I've got more to prove this time, you know. Your hand's getting cold. And just as I was getting used to it all, you know, he was gone. If we'd taken him last year, he'd, he'd be at the end of his first year already, and he'd be that good and better. It's like, oh. Should no, no, because he is like... There are only a few candidates left to see in this first stage, so they'll have to reveal something pretty special to make it through. I basically was forced <laughs> into, um, into finding very prompt work which was going to quickly pay, so um, I've done a lot of stage work and thought stripping would be great, so I did. <laughs> cool. Great, thank you. Cheers. Good. Thanks for that. You've got some but help. some people struggle to reveal anything at all. Pop that again and just really engage with us that you are the, you are the strong boy who Sometimes the panel use a more hands-on approach to try and spark some real emotion. On all side of you, what we're going to do is hold you down on the floor and you've got to get to your feet, saying the text that you do. But Sikorax, my mother, was We're only there to see you. We're not interested in your bag of tricks, really. Great that you've got them, you know, fantastic that you've prepared, but in the end, we're just going to try and strip away everything and try and just see you. Well, I got up this morning and um, had a Sunday school exam because I teach Sunday school at church. Us is from a staunch Catholic family. For him, acting's a way of communicating with people. Although he hasn't told his dad he's auditioning for drama school. And think of someone that you really fancy. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That was great. The first round of auditions are over. I really want to get in. All my hopes. Hopefully. <laughs> Less than a quarter will be asked back for the next stage, the intensive recall weekend. This stage, we're really trying to draw things out of you and trying to move stuff away to see you more clearly. At the recall, we'll push harder. Newtown, Wellington, home to New Zealand Drama School. Out of 200, 48 have been recalled for a weekend of workshops and further auditions. Only 22 will make it. Toy Fakari is a melting pot of cultures. The school puts on a porphyry to fire the hopefuls up. That poor hiri is to say, you're welcome. It demands things. It's not a soft thing. Poor hiri is not all oh, lovey-dovey. It's quite a challenge as well. You kind of felt like, oh my gosh, and you just don't, it's so intense. Oh, this is amazing. Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, this is awesome. I was a bit nervous at start um, with the whole, the, um, the chanting and all that stuff. To every one of you who have come here today, 
you honor us. You are the manna of your people, but make it hard for us to choose. Ryan's put himself forward to speak on behalf of the auditionees. Uh, this place is amazing. It just reeks of manna. <laughs> I want to make the recall weekend something that is special for all of them, whether they get in or not. Finish and you don't get a place and you never come back near here, it still will have added something to your life. It just sort of made me feel like I want to be here next year welcoming other people. I've been smiling ever since it started. I've never had a hungi before, a hungi or whatever you call them, because I'm pretty new to the Maori culture, but um, it just feels like I've been my head against the wall for the last half hour. Yeah. How's it going? Very well, thanks. All the best. Thank you very much. Be hard, don't be weak. <laughs> the hopefuls are getting a feel for what drama school could be like. Michael Jackson! You are constantly competing against yourself. Now they want it even more. I have to get it. Yes, 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 yes. But of course you're also competing against um, the other people in your class to get more attention. I need to get into a drama school next year or else it'll all go to pieces. If you're not robust, then this is just going to be far too tough an ask. We say it is, um, it's an ensemble environment and I think often people think that that means um, that it's all terribly user-friendly and supportive and it's not. First, drama school tutor Tom McCrory assesses the hopefuls in a movement workshop. The other judges quietly observe. You're home. You don't know the moment when you might get into drama school. It might be when you're not doing your piece. It might be when you're listening to somebody else do their piece. You don't know, you know? Be prepared to step outside the framework of what you think is going to happen. Yeah? and be willing to embrace, and be willing to support. Hey. I'm not here to test anybody. I'm not here to have anybody prove anything to me. I'm not here to judge you in the slightest. You're not a Barbie doll in a Barbie world. You just got washed out of the sea. Give me the whole moment. Stop referring to me, darling. Bullshit. Acting's more than just learning Bullshit. lines. It's all tricks. Tricks. It's a bag of Tom's tricks. about to give them a taste you know. of the sheer hard work their training would demand. I'm in the sea. I've been in the sea for hours. The wave catches me, washes me out onto the beach. Start to walk over the sand. The sand is hot. It burns my feet. Okay? All good? Okay, it's starting to piss me off a bit because it's all, you know, it's all fake. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Do it again. Okay. And give me the C. I don't want to see some chimpanzee that just escaped from a cigarette trial. It's like a builder, you know, looking at a particular job, you know. You look at a job, you know, and you begin to, you go, well, what does this job need? It's not just see, ooh, might be a shopping mall in there. And it's yeah. not about oh. liking or disliking somebody. It's just sometimes you need to strike a certain point in order that something crumbles and falls away. Not for the sake of crumbling and falling away and going, yes, I broke that, but going, now we can come into a place of connection. Now you're listening to me. You're relying on a whole lot of superficialities. There's no depth in your work. Be bolder, be much bolder. Hey, be realer. Something inside no one can explain. Spinning now like molecules that you brain. You just hit the deck, Wondering didn't you? Yeah, you hit the sand. You didn't hit sand, you hit chipboard. Is it all the I don't want to be made aware of the chipboard. I didn't come here to see Chipboard by William Shakespeare. Okay. <laughs> Twelve hours later. I saw Chipboard. Do it again. 
the physical challenges are taking their toll. And for some, I reckon. <laughs> their acting dreams are hitting the chipboard. At New Zealand Drama School, the recall auditions are in full swing. Christian Penny's running an improvisation workshop to see how well the candidates can think on their feet. You know, your tears are no sign of an acting ability. Okay, four more. Auditioning is really complex and quite difficult, I reckon, and quite chancy. It's very easy to work out who, who's got an ability and is ready to train and who hasn't. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> The thing that's really hard to work out is that, that big group in the middle where you think, yeah, could be her, could be him, could be her. And you'll notice that as you watch the weekend, the whole panel, they cycle round and around that group, eh, going, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 no, no, gone, 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 yeah, yeah. Ryan's worked hard to get this far, but under pressure from Christian, it all falls apart. And now you have to be the builder companion to her. <laughs> sure. If you ask too many questions, the builder companion. I was just like gutted it. So for the rest of that, I was just like, oh no, I've stuffed this up. He's going to do the deck. You're going to do the deck. Well, so if, if you were to take care of the, what the plan is, is that uh, Wendy's going to take care of the uh, garden. And what he, I'm going to do is a build, kind of He's a builder. Oh, he's a builder, sure. <laughs> No, I'm not angry, just like gutted. Just, I was just, I know I could have done better. I failed to, I guess, just, just, I, 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 I'm not sure. There's a big line through my head on that piece of paper. Byron's already had a year of acting training in Christchurch. He's confident getting into Toy Fakari will set up his career, but he'll have to dig deeper to win a place here. So I was in this bar the other day, right? <laughs> and uh, this chick came up to me and she goes, hey, you're in the indie rock band. And I said, yeah, whatever. Slow down, slow down. Pretty nervous at start, but um, after I got up there and had a bit of a run around, it wasn't too bad, eh? So um, I was sitting there for and a stop while, moving. just chilling out. And, uh, Are you listening to me? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm... I don't get annoyed, but um, I mean, what he said was pretty, pretty much true, though, anyway. Now, what did I say? Stop moving and slow down? Yeah. So? I'm sitting down. Shall we work together? Sorry? Shall we work together? Sure. Shall I be a director and you be an actor? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I need you to listen to me. <laughs> okay. My nana died last year. Yeah. So what's, what's your text? Happened? What are you doing tomorrow? What pieces? Doug from Cozzy and Andre from Three Sisters. Andre. I love and respect my wife, and you understand that I respect her. But I expect others don't, to don't respect have her to as well. hurry. He doesn't have to hurry. She's an honest, straightforward, and high-principled woman. And all your grievances against uh, yeah, her, yeah, 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 yeah. if you don't mind my saying so, are just pure imagination, nothing more. Pause here. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm pitching it up just a little bit so they rise beyond what they know they can do. And in that process, someone goes, ooh, and they experience themselves as more able than they consciously believed. Place for me. So this story is just Colleen kind of was an A student at the university, hard. but the tough challenges she's no, facing stop. now don't can't be nutted out on paper. You're trying hard, aren't you? Yes. That was what I kept sort of hitting a, ro a wall with, was really, really giving an honest response as opposed to a, I'm up in front of all these people and I have a hoop that I don't know how I could possibly jump through, so I'll just pretend I can, you know, as opposed to something really honest. I think that's what he wanted. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, the central moment in the story too was... Hard. Uh, Why too hard? What else could he have wanted? Okay. I wrote the book about the time when my mum had her last baby. And it was 
high school time for me and I just sort of... Yeah, the start is beautiful. I mean, you start manufacturing a whole lot of nonsense, don't you? Yeah. It's been a difficult morning. The work has been really demanding and really, really difficult in terms of stepping outside of your comfort zone. Just... Stretching yourself. Really, really stretching yourself. So often here we want to be interesting, don't we? Next time. Both Tom and Christian were trying to strip away our pretenses. <sighs> and basically right now I'm just feeling really vulnerable because I didn't come here thinking that it would be really easy or anything, but um, but but I feel as if I'm I'm having a particularly hard time to rise to the challenges. It's the end of a long and emotional day. The audition workshops have pushed everyone to the limit. And tomorrow, they face the final selection panel. Go get a good sleep now and just give it everything, eh? Tonight I'll just go to sleep and take a rest. I've just got faith and trust no matter what happens. I'm prepared for the worst. Just longing to be part of it, I guess. I have to get it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to think about that yet. Next week, it's the last chance to win their dream. Stretching your beard. I'm not going to let him go yet. But yet five no. Some rise to the challenge. Stop it, Tom. But for others, the pressure proves too much. I think my inner demon sort of took me over a bit. I really encourage you to fight for your place.